welcome or welcome back to cooking with claire if you're new here my name is clarissa and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make orange chicken so let's cook so here i have about a pound and a half of chicken breast that's been cut up into bite-sized pieces now to this you just want to add salt and pepper to taste and i'm using white pepper i'm just gonna put some salt You're just gonna mix this up. Now we wanna make our batter. So you wanna pour in about a cup and a half of potato starch. And to this, you want to add two eggs. And you want to mix this up until you get a nice batter. If you add too much potato starch and it gets too clumpy, just add in an extra egg. like this. So I'm going to add in an extra egg. So that would be a cup and a half of potato starch to three eggs. And you just want to keep mixing until it becomes a nice smooth batter. Just like this. So now what you want to do is go ahead and add your chicken into this batter. And you want to mix that up. Now that we made our chicken batter, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce for our orange chicken. First, you wanna start by grating some fresh oranges. When you're grating your oranges, you wanna make sure that you're only getting the very outside of the orange, cause you don't want any of that white bitter taste inside of your sauce. So I'm gonna continue to grate my oranges and I'll check back in with you when I'm finished. Okay guys, so I finished grating my oranges and I'm left with about two teaspoons of orange zest. So now you wanna go ahead and juice your oranges cause you need about a half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. So I'm gonna continue to squeeze my oranges to get my orange juice. And I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, so I'm finished squeezing my oranges and that was about three to four oranges that I had to squeeze to get roughly a half a cup of orange juice. But it all depends on how juicy and how big your oranges are. So to this you wanna add about five tablespoons of rice vinegar. Next you're gonna add in a half a cup of brown sugar. Next, you're gonna add in about four tablespoons of light soy sauce. And lastly, you're gonna add in about a tablespoon full of fresh honey. Now 
Next, I'm just gonna give it a taste for flavor. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more honey. If you want it sweeter, you can add in more honey or brown sugar. So that's why it's important for you to give it a taste for seasoning. Now that tastes perfect. Now that this is all done, we're gonna go over to the stove so we can fry up our chicken. So I, okay, so I have my oil heating up on a medium high heat in my wok. And you can use any oil, as long as it's a high temperature oil, like sunflower oil, canola oil. I'm using canola oil here. Or you can use soybean oil, just any of those oils that can handle high heat. So I'm just gonna add my chicken in. And you want to be careful when adding your chicken in to make sure that you're not splashing your oil around. That's why you want to get as close as you can to the oil before dropping your pieces in. If you don't feel comfortable doing it like this, you can just put it on a fork and just put them in one at a time. If you see any of the pieces sticking together, you might just wanna take your chopsticks or your fork or whatever and just break them apart. All right, so I'll check back in with you guys when this chicken is golden brown. If they don't get a deep golden brown and crunchy the first time, don't worry about it because we're gonna double fry these. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take these out. So you see what I'm saying? Even though these are thoroughly cooked and they have a light brown coating on them they're already crunchy we're going to go back in and refry them again to get that darker color and get them even more crispier so i'm going to put these off to the side on a cooling rack so again you just want to go in with your chicken and just make sure you're really close so that you're not making a splash and put your chicken in Also, don't forget to go back and separate your chicken because if you don't, you're just gonna wind up with one giant clump of chicken. So I'm gonna finish frying up our chicken and I'm just gonna check in with you guys when it's time for me to fry them for a second time. Okay, so I just finished pulling out our last batch of chicken. So what you wanna do now is set your flame to high and add portions of your chicken back into your oil. Okay, so our oil is up to temperature, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our chicken back in. This process is not gonna take long because your oil is now up high, so you really need to keep an eye on your chicken. Okay guys, so you see now this is now a nice golden brown and it's nice and crispy, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out. So I'm going to go ahead and fry up the rest of my chicken and I'll be back to show you guys how to make the sauce. So I have my wok heating up on a medium temperature with about three tablespoons of oil. So to this you want to add one tablespoon of fresh garlic and one tablespoon of fresh ginger. And you also want to put some pepper flakes inside too. Now you can add as much pepper flakes as you want. It just depends on how spicy you want it to be. Now you just wanna cook this up until you can start smelling the garlic and the ginger and everything cooking. 
So now for this, you want to go ahead and add your orange sauce mixture. And you just want to cook this up until it begins to get hot. It just gives it a chance for all those flavors to merge together. Now you see that this is starting to simmer a little bit. You're going to go ahead and add your cornstarch slurry. And you want to add one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch to two and a half tablespoons of water. And you just want to cook this up until the sauce becomes thick. Which it doesn't take that long to do. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove off at this point. And just let this cook on this residual heat. Now when you're cooking this, you want to make sure that your sauce is on the thick side. Because if it's on the runny side, it's going to make your chicken get soggy. So you want it kind of thick like this. You see when I pull that spatula back, it's actually making a trail. Now that this sauce is finished cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add our chicken back in. And you can just how crunchy that chicken is. You just want to toss that chicken up in your sauce like this. That looks so delicious. You can see how gooey that is. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. Okay, so here is our orange chicken all plated up. And if you want, you can just go ahead and garnish it with some green onion like this. And that's it. That's how I make my orange chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and this video. And if so, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!